we will hear now and realize how important to choose. Every day we are confronted uh, to choose. Magtrabaho ba ako o hindi? Magsimba o hindi? There are three events in this wedding as well as the uh, life of Maria Goretti concerning to choose. We'll pick up first Abraham's side. He was tested. He needs to choose to love God and to love Isaac, the only son from Zara. Of course, he has another son from uh, his uh, maid, his helper, Hagar, Ismael. But to choose not to obey the Lord by not killing because it was cold that you need, you need to offer your son. But Abraham, there was really a kind of, of course, no? naintindihan natin yung damdamin niya. No? So the, the time he decided to do it, and the time he arrived in the, the mountain, that span of time is time to choose, to reflect. This is the very gift of God to me. But he said to me, offer it. What is this? A troubled kind of uh, feelings, no? Though uh, he loves God so much, he loves his son as well. But he needs to cling to God's call. Love me above all. So he decided to offer the son with a heavy heart. Di tayo magiging plastic dyan na okay lang sa kanya. The only son, no more son, because 99 na si Sarah, 100 siya. And he really obeyed the Lord. And because of that obedience, what we have heard, he was blessed. He was blessed. This is always the effect uh, coming from God. If you obey him, blessing upon blessing. It is really hard when you are tested and you pass through the test. Huh? And uh, going to the life of Maria Goretti, he was, uh, she was called to choose purity or death. See, Alessandro Cinerelli, she was just 10 years old. No? And then uh, this guy planned to rape hit her. And then, uh, yan, papatayin siya kung sisigaw or alma. And then, uh, for Maria, kung ako man lang ay mamatay, ngunit nadudumihan ang aking pagkatao, I would rather choose purity and die. She was stabbed 14 times. 14 times. And... Uh, Nabuhay pa rin siya, nadala pa sa hospital, yung mga entrails niya, yung mga bituka, yan, lumalabas na. And uh, Alessandro was caught and in prison, and in short, namatay siya pure because she chose it. She has chosen to die with a pure life. And uh, because of this, she was uh, canonized. And uh, some story that Alessandro repented in the year before she was canonized, Alessandro was released from the prison and uh, he attended the canonization with the mother. Grabe, no? What a scene. Na, nandyan yung pumatay, nakita mo pa yung tinatawag na, ano kaya yung damdamin ni Alessandro, no? Na, ano bang nangyari sa akin? Jesus made also a choice. Oh, ano ang uh, tinatawag na mas madali? I forgive all your sins or rise up and walk. The scribes did not answer. If what I have done, what I have done in the, the what I have said in the first line, your sins have been forgiven, there is no verification, there is no proof because this is for the soul. At walang ebidensya. The evidence would be, I will say something for the body. 
This is, this is the second line. If it will happen, therefore, the conclusion is, the first line, your sins are forgiven. Totoo pala kasi yung pangalawa kong sinabi nangyari for the body. And Jesus did it. Rise and uh, pick up your stretcher and go home. Yung nangyari. So all of them were amazed. They were amazed because they have concluded. So that first line was true. Your sins are forgiven. Kasi nangyari yung pangalawa. So in our life also, we are always confronted with two choices. Every day. Every day. And uh, the Lord, uh, He is always accompanying us every day. Sana, we always uh, make a choice in favor of Him. Amen? Human will or divine will. Gano lang yun eh. Kaya we pray, the, our Father, uh, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. May we continue to uphold that kind of line in the Our Father. Your will be done. To do the will of God is to continue to set aside our own will and the will of the Lord should be followed. I remember two experiences. Number one, to choose whether magalit o hindi. Nagkasala ang mga brothers. Sabi ko, wag gamitin niyong motor kasi napakagamit yan sa, ano, sa pagmimisa. Ginamit nila, pinagpraktisan. Eh, pumunta muna ako sa Manila. So, uh, yung isa na disgrasya, hindi marunong pala. So, naotso yung gulong. Tabingi na yung manobela at yung uh, headlight na basag. Tiniksan ngayon ako sa, doon sa Manila. Father, si ganito, si brother, hindi pala marunong. Tapos uh, nasira na yung motor. Yun na, utso yung gulong, bla bla bla. Nung binasa ko, ganito yung reaction ng puso ko. Burukurukuruk. Tuk, burukurukuruk. I magagalit ba ko? Walang tao dyan pagagalitan. Sabi ko, relax. Bukas na tayo magagalit kasi bukas na tayo uuwi. Gumano din naman yung puso. See? You have that choice, di ba? Ang importante lang dyan, can you control to postpone your anger? At nung dumating ako, nag-breakfast kami, ang tahimik nila, eh, yung na-disgrasya, daming mga, ano, yung uh, plaster dito, plaster, ang daming plaster. So I asked them, what, did you, what do you feel? Ano naramdaman nyo ngayon? Natakot kami, Ayun, kami ay baka palayasin nyo na. So in short, I told them na pwede bang ayusin yan ngayon, hindi nila ako magalit sa inyo. Ayun, talagang <laughs> ginawa nila. No? You have the choice. It's your will. No? Then second is the choice to have this kind of life. Lord, kung gusto kong gagawin ang plano ko, mag-aasawa, Eh, bakit nagsisimba araw-araw, rosaryo, gabi-gabi? Why? What is this? You have some plan. I want to do that plan. I want to do your will for my life. And here I am now. I was able to choose the will of God.